But I'm very sorry to hear that things are not good for you. Kick your shoes off. Relax. Let me take your mind off it for a bit, if I can. I hope. Once a juicy grape, now a small sweet that wouldn't satisfy an infant. They do trade well, though. Uh, you're repaired, you're repaired, you're repaired. You will after work. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Let's eat an egg. I think we still have this. And in a few more hours. Excellent. Look forward to the opportunity. Why I do this. A couple smiles. A little bit of happiness. I need infected organs. I guess I could go and try to fix people at the theater too, but I don't have any... Hills. Let's see what we can do in the warehouse there. Hi! Hey, Pookie, welcome! Haven't seen you in a while, how you doing? Can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me. Why did you come anyway? Is this an interrogation? Just wanted to see how you're doing. Biscuit brought pups. One was stillborn, but the rest are doing great. Why are you so gloomy? I fear Notkin could have caught the infection. We hope it's just canine distemper. No, kid. Humans don't get dog diseases. Not even the soul and a halves. Here, this is for you. Made by our scouts. What is it? A map of the infection. Our scouts sneak everywhere. Will it be useful? Sneak into infected districts. Very carefully. It's a public service. We want to help the doc help you doctors. What do you mean, carefully? It means what it means. Why do you think I'm sitting outside and not going in there? You morons. Morons. Dumb kids. Oh, you like springs. Four? Wow. Those are valuable. You, may you have a bit of a recap? Sure. Let me just get out of the... the muck. And then we'll go over a bit of a recap. I've got a bunch of lockpicks to sell already. Six. Think time is passing on this screen? I hope not. All right, where are we? I like how the kids have bullets. Reminds me of my youth. <laughs> Indeed. All right, where are we? We've repaired the big alembic in order to start making more complex medicines to start trying to fight this disease that's been breaking out. We've lost this whole area now to the plague, and it's currently infecting these spots. Is it just me, or does everyone in this game look like a potential serial killer? It is not just you. And that's because everyone in this game is a potential serial killer. I don't trust any of them.
Um, we don't know what's causing anything of this vi uh, plague yet. Originally, it seemed like the plague was spewing out of the termitary, but I don't think that's the case, as the disease causes dry skin. And our father had dry skin when we inspected the body, and he was the first to die long before this whole thing broke out. The person who was with him died shortly after that, and they won't show us the body or tell us anything about it. So we've, uh, I think finding out more of what my father was doing is going to be key, but we're going to have to, keep ourselves alive first. There was a sand plague that happened five years ago. This is the same thing. They call it the sand something or something sand. And they call it that because it makes your skin dry. The uh, Dead as well, yeah. One one lady died over here already. The one who used to be here. There we go. Ass pity. Or, per, or male. I guess we don't know. I think we went with male. I keep saying female. But ass pity died because they tried to heal one of the kids. So I can't let other people take my place. Their fate is very much up to me. Okay, let's save and try to give medicine and see how it goes. Oh, I see, right? Pain is going to become a big thing. Comes ragged. It's either nerves or blood. Clearly, blood. Now I just need the things to cure blood. Oh, and painkillers. Okay, so I need to find kids to trade with. Do you have anything? You got a whole bunch over here. What do we have? Ooh, canned food. Filling, although I'm not sure what kind of food is inside. Yeah, that's... Oh, you don't want anything I have anyway, though. Yeah, that's not good. What's the durability going? Fairly quickly. Time is at 1700 hours. More than half the day is gone. Need infected organs. Young lad wants to see me. He wanted me to ask them for water, right? Well, let's go see what young Vlad wants, I guess. I don't think I can do anything for this kid. If I find some... Oh, hey. Seek them all. All those on your list. Joyfully. I might take them one by one. I might take them all at once. Shall I follow your whim? Shall I kill them one by one? Why? Why are they on this list? One by one would be better. FPS seems to dip hard during these close-ups. Yeah. You have me there, warrior. I relish that you are fearless enough to offer straight answers. One by one it is, then. Good boy, go. What use is he to you? I'll find a way to beat you. 
Just you wait. I'm not afraid. You are a fool, Burak. You know nothing. Understand nothing. Call yourself a healer? Don't kid yourself. Who will he who will you heal? From what? <coughs> Shall you seize an ill babe and cram them full of your antibiotics? You're an unbearable bore. No fun at all. I snow. At least I know the list of your future victims. More so the eighth. Figure it out, I'll ask around. Do get her. Are you Borak? Your father's house is being robbed right now. By whom? How should I know? I only looked from the outside. Even then I barely got out of there alive. Cut with a razor, see? It couldn't have been, and it could have been worse. Who did this to you? People have turned to looting, didn't you know? Houses are being burgled all over the hindquarters, in the tanners, in the skinners. The plague is abandoning those dis abandoned those districts. Empty houses, open for thieves, so people barge in, and no one punishes them. No one even frowns. Guess how we all have too many other concerns these days. What about our new patrolman? The plague has left them? The plague has left there? Impossible. And yet it's true. The air is clear. There is no infection there. Got any weapons? Without them, the place is inhospitable. I don't need weapons to deal with bandits. How's it going, Snow? You having a good day? We had so much good news today on the gaming front. It's, it's exciting. The PS5 reveal was amazing. And then to cap it all off, I also got the drafts for my new emotes. And they are fantastic. You are going to be super happy. I promise you. Hey, Cosmotic. Welcome. What is this? Grocery. Grocery. Oh, there, though. Will they buy my lockpicks at the grocer? Maybe I'll keep one? No. They won't buy them. Okay. Keeping all that. Buy another milk. They're pretty good. Hey, Lo, welcome. Hi. Hmm? I hear it. It's in this lot somewhere, I think. Okay. Oh, hey. Nope. Rich, I think. This is the house, right? Yep. You're out of dukes and you're cursed again. Dark Souls! Yeah, I don't really. You won't just give me them? Okay. Fine. You're back in dukes trying to get through it. Wish you luck with your endeavors, sir. What's going on here? Can't get in it. Okay. Not money. What? Well, this is young Vlad. I was thinking the girl, the youngest one. Okay. Burak. What do you have here in the corner? Do my eyes deceive me? Is there really a well inside this house? 
Your eyes do not deceive you. It is indeed a well. Insanity. Yes, yes, I know. Sacrilege. Taboo. Have you ever wondered what's behind that superstition? No, I've just been brought up this way. Did you make it out of idle curiosity? Let's deflect. Let's not answer his question and just push a question back to him. Things change. You couldn't have missed the tower on the other side. A couple of years ago, Father also introduced water infrastructure. Actual pipes, Burak. Didn't you notice the pumps? The pipes don't even run deep, but the outrage was a sight to behold. Surprised there wasn't a riot. Then again, consider your father's temper. Exactly. If they only tried. You might find it surprising, but I lean toward the side of the common folk in this matter. Didn't we talk about that? Explain. I wanted to see what's behind all this superstition. I'm generally very fond of the kin's folklore. You see, I believe that by figuring out the inner motives of these people, we could create a truly solid economy, help them accept the future, so to speak. There probably is something behind the superstition, and I suggest you leave it buried. So what did you find? I don't know yet. It hasn't gone smoothly. The deeper we dig, the less willing people are to descend. Still, no monsters have emerged. Not yet. So you called for me to show me... this? Oh yeah, the well is not why I called you today. You see, these esteemed people are trying to convince me the Odongs are... well, immune to our infection. They supposedly do not get the sand plague. What does that have to do with you? Should have come to me with that instead. Yeah, they should have come to me with that. That's good knowledge for a doctor. You see, I supervise certain things at the Bull Enterprise. I am, after all, an Olgimsky. A large number of our workers are Odongs. Almost everyone who works with the livestock is an Odong. It's hard, dirty work. And if what they're saying is true, then you can resume production, and they can be tasked with certain unpleasant work. In the end, we are the only survivors in the entire town. I'm going with that. Not quite, Burak. Not quite. I'm racking my brain over a different concern. Don't ask me what it is. Oh, you're thinking that they can do the dirty work. I knew that. I just wasn't going to give you that pleasure. Just look at them and tell me. Are they lying? Or could it be true? After all, you, your father was a stepman. I think I do need the details, though. What's troubling you? Now let's make this clear, Burak. I like you, and we have interests in common. But I will not discuss the factory with you. I will not discuss the inner workings of our business. Our workers are our capital. It's our family enterprise. You look at the Odongs of yours, then. A medical exam would be pointless. I'll ask them and see if they're telling the truth. Hundreds. It is good that you listen, Yag Yagachin. Do you know we worms came into be- Do you know how we worms came into being? You simply spawned from the earth. Mother Bodo made you out of what was left over after making humans. You mean according to legend? The same way the Shabnak did. The earth molds you out of her innards and spits you out. That is right. Our nature is twofold. We're part earth, part flesh. That is why we possess properties of the earth. Shidi. What is no threat to earth is no threat to us. Quite a deal you've got there. What could possibly threaten the earth itself? But you do also possess the weakness of flesh, no? We took some properties of flesh, yes, and some from earth. Joined, they became something new. We learned to sense herbs. We've learned to understand cattle. We are unaffected by a disease that earth created. What makes you think the disease comes from the earth? Where else? All grows from earth. When she is joyous, she fills the fields with twire. When she is irate, she makes shabnak, pits, and disease. Those do not affect us. We are one with the earth. So the usual. Whatever happens, it's Mother Bodo doing it.
That's Curse possible. the bear for eating the cow. Curse the cow for jumping the fence. Do you believe them? Before you answer, Borak, I implore you to think. Truly think. Thousands of lives might depend on your answer. have to think it over. I don't know for sure that they would be safe. I have a feeling. Suspicion. That is not enough. Okay. Reuben, he has spent a lot of time with Father. Perhaps he's heard this. Let's head there, sure. Nope, wrong way. Don't want nothing to do with that. <laughs> That's the one time I died in that place. Lowers infection, fixes the bone layer. I need blood layer. Six. Gonna need it, but I don't like those prices. I'll find kids that are cheaper. The secret to success in this game is exploiting the children. That's what I've learned. You want to survive? Exploit children. Water guard. An inspection, eh? Tis all silliness, if you ask me. The water is all right. People drink it, and no one died. What inspection? Rumor is, step people infected the barrels last night. Don't take offense, sir. Might have been the plague bearer, the bone-legged wench. Remember the hunt for her? Well, where there's smoke, there's fire. Guess there was a good reason behind the hunt, after all. You've lived long enough to have wrinkles, yet you still believe someone would infect people on purpose? The kid is to blame for everything? Great. Go on. Tell me more. I'm all ears. What a lady. Always up to all sorts of mischief. Bite the bone legs. Let's say we, despite your wrinkles, you still believe this. Oh, I don't. But an order came through this morning. Barrels must be guarded. As many as we have manpower to guard. Though the master is the only one with enough free men. Maybe it's to protect the water from something infecting it, too. Can't be too sure. What would be the point if it's already infected? I've already been told to stand guard here, because those are our last sips of clear water. The water pipes were destroyed last night. The fools decided the infection's waterborne from the gorkin. It's polluted, true, with blood and innards from the abattoir. The gorkin flows in the opposite direction. An order has been issued. All barrels are to be examined if anything suspicious is found. All barrels from that part of town are to be seized. Can't be too sure. Bachelor Dankovsky is in charge of the process. It's all up to him. Hence my question. Did he send you to inspect the barrels? Let's assume he did. How do I examine one? Are you asking me, doctor? I guess you take sample. Then hold it to the light, taste it, and run to Professor Dankovsky to report if anything is off. 
already running at breakneck speeds. Don't mind me, just taking all your water. I'm in quota, I promise you. Uh, this is not the way in. Tourniquets for three, huh? Sure. Is this the way in? Yeah, this is the way in. Nope, that's locked too. I don't want to speak too soon, but I think I may have solved my buffering problem. Seems to be nearby hop. Oh, right on. May get up at 6 a.m. to play more souls. <laughs> We've created another monster. The VPN fixes it. Interesting, interesting. I've seen, I've heard of a few instances of VPN actually shortcutting connections in order to give better How connection. Heavy. You used to not be able to play uh, Final Fantasy XIV without a VPN if you were out of certain areas. Just terrible. Especially considering it has a 2.5 millisecond GCD and they still couldn't get it right. They did eventually get it right. Yes. Stock. Take a look at this sigil. It's called Uderg. Ever heard of that? More kin nonsense. They mark bulls with this. What does it matter? I have no interest in their stupid cattle brands. No love for our kind. Why? You've never come across the word Uderg. I think for a moment, may maybe my father mentioned it? Your father wasted too much effort on that rabble. My father and I were also of the steppe. Did you somehow forget? They distracted him from his work, wanted him to live for them, toil for them, tend to them. All they need is an owner, a protector, a caretaker, someone to cling to like fleas draining their blood. They're all about blood. Someone has a temper. Is this personal? They, huh? Not you. So you think I'm a different breed. Wolves. Wolves each and every one of them. They surround you, smother you, they wait till you're out of breath, then they press on, and on, and on. They put him into an early grave, the blasted kin, and I'm soon to follow. What? You? What reason could they possibly have? Well, maybe I gave them a reason, or maybe it's habit for them by now. Look, take your damn sigil and get lost. You picked a curious time to study folklore. You need work. You need work, or what? Let me know and I'll make you busy. Working right now, Stock. Figuring this out is my job, too. Ruben doesn't know jack shit, but he gave me an idea. Ogimsky's son studies step lore. Perhaps I could ask him. The sand pest threatens the kids. Yeah, but it's not them it wants. It was the eighth, the Uderg. I can't protect it if I don't figure out what it is. Never got that one, huh? I have a sample of muddy water. If I take it to the bachelor, he'd certainly order all potentially dangerous barrels to be destroyed. A third of the town will be left dehydrated, but safe. It's suspected that the town's water barrels might be poisoned, even infected. I found a barrel with suspiciously unclean water, but it's not just like there's acid inside. The water just seems muddy. Think hard about what it is. Laura wants to turn her shelter into a well. Shelter for the homeless. To do that, she needs a personal water barrel. I'll need a good excuse to take one, and it might only doable in the middle town where a guard could transport it. Hey, I see. 
and the whole can be more than a sum of its touch. And them be not being on the streets probably a good thing, but at the same time, this whole muddy water has me feeling nervous about gathering all those people together. I don't have the sample of muddy water anymore, I don't think, but maybe it's pretending I do. Oh, you're definitely not far off, Lo. You'll be there in no time. So is it explained why we're able to see and talk to death? Not yet. But the whole game is also sort of staged as a play. And there's... Uh, like, acts every night that foreshadow the coming day. And your visions at the beginning are all you basically as an actor in the stage of fate. It's... You know, the, the, the orderlies are dressed as the birds, and the reason the orderlies that are attending the sick are dressed as birds is because the town doesn't have enough scrubs, basically, for everybody, so they used the costumes from the playhouse as clothing for the orderlies. And that's, that's why they look like that. But then they're also part of the play as well same as like the guys all in black with just the white face they're they're outside of the game it's almost like a, a third wall break or fourth wall break and then they're within the game still and you can interact with them and get meta information you got all pale doctor is everything okay is the water fine in this barrel I'm not sure the water is indeed strange it has this odor but that doesn't mean anything let me think how would I know if it's dangerous? I guess it would be smart to take a sample to Dankowski. He's the microscope man. I'm gonna take this barrel to the outskirts, to Ravel's house. I'll examine it there. I'm thinking we should actually examine it. Let's let's get to Dankowski's. Thought that's just the signature Plague Doctor costume. Nope, they actually talk about it in the game. They're not uh, doctors, they're orderlies. And it's part of their uh, costume house. T-I-L, huh? are all broken. Oh, seemed like it actually would let me use them. And it's the one in front of me. going on with the water engine and a grave one uh, as in water will now be given to people drop by drop in a controlled fashion some Luddites destroyed your water pipes tonight claimed it was contaminated by the river water 
Granted, the Gorkin is terribly polluted, but what if there was no contamination? Where are we supposed to get water now? For sanitary use, if nothing else. Will those guards simply protect the barrels from the common people to stop them from taking too much? There is talk of infected barrels. There are step springs. Water carriers bring water from there. Water carriers? Seriously, Borok? We're quarantined! Although, I suppose we'll have to send someone. With proper security, of course. Where, by the way, are those springs? Far from here? Quite. Still, Erdem, about the water. Colleague, this is nonsense. You're stuck in the Middle Ages. I suppose I just have to accept this. Whenever an outbreak strikes, the rumor mill spins its wheels. Someone poisoned the wells! Who? Gypsies, heathens, witches, foreigners. I won't act without proof, which doesn't exist. What's this, then? What's this? Where'd you get this? Something's wrong with the water. From a barrel in the middle town. No. No, for God's sake, damn it! What have we done to deserve... All right. I apologize for the outburst. Leave it to me. I'll examine it. Today. It won't take long. And if it's infected... No ifs. Consider it infected. Then, well, it's not like I have a choice. We'll follow the plan to destroy all the water barrels in the middle town. Effective immediately. We simply can't take any risks here. I can't shake this sense of dread, as if fate itself acted against us. This guy does seem very re fairly reasonable. He's, he's supposed to be from outside in a regular town, whereas the town is all backwater and very superstition and, and old-timey, right? It is supposed to be a normal day game, just in a backwater strange town. I think they were going for a, uh, a wicker man feel. They, they got a wicker man feel. Wicker Man, strange movie if you haven't watched that one. Can't shake the sense of dread as if fate itself acts against us. Great, so I robbed half the town of water with my own hands. Gave my sus the suspicious sample to Dengovsky. It will be difficult for the townsfolk to stay hydrated with so many water barrels destroyed. That is unfortunate, but it could also stop infectious spread. Give me an idea. Gimski's son, yeah. Let's go that way. <laughs> Dankovsky. I wish he was. Although he is becoming better. He was a Dickovsky when I first met him. Hey, Pookie. Oh, you're saying hi to Rage. Yeah, that too. I'm dying. What's wrong with you? The Sand Plague. Keep your distance and don't blame yourself. Just find your father's real killer and I can die peacefully. Perhaps I'll forgive them. What would you say to that? I will. I will find them. Don't know what I'll do with them, but I will find them. Can't really say what you're going to do with the killer before you find them, and oh my, I'm dying of exhaustion. Can I sleep here? No. Yes. Yes, I can. Also, dying of frames. Yes, this, this game loves to drop frames whenever it loads or changes area or, you know, anything... Move. Look too fast. I can save here. Yeah, I did save here. I'm looking for sleep. I need to sleep here. There no sleep here? Okay, so that symbol means save, not sleep. I understand. Where can I sleep? Can I still sleep in Lara's? I could totally fit in that crib. My character could. I probably could not. In fact, I could all but guarantee you that I would break that crib if I tried to get in it.
One of the few counter-logical things in the game is, I'm tired, I better run before I die of exhaustion. <laughs> that's that's one of the few counter-logic things I've found. Hey, Ninja. Wish I could wish I could load, but every time I try to save, I fall asleep. <laughs> How's it going? Sup? I am fighting for my life, fighting for the town's life, and fighting a losing battle. No matter what I do, it's a losing battle. I'm not going to win, but I'm trying. That's just sort of this game. You try and see how long it takes to fail. Wrong house. Status updates from the area are getting less depressing. You're respected here. Yes. People are starting to realize, oh, he's a doctor, not, eh, he's a killer. Oh, hello, loot. I'll take him. Why aren't we preparing for evacuation? You won't receive a clean barrel. Everyone is equal when it comes to the threat of thirst. Homeless or not? Didn't work out. I'm sorry. See, so you think you have food, and then you play the game for a little bit, and you realize, shit, I need food. So wake up at midnight. People are gonna die right now. Days grow shorter. Yes, I loot in the dreams. Have it. Weird. Or Remember, take morphine and painkillers and you'll wake up in better health. That that is something that the game said. <laughs> that is something that the game said. I think they said better rested. We don't even have a proper hospital in town. You've fallen asleep. This is the most important lesson of your life, and you've fallen asleep. The most crucial lesson. Children, what do we say to Artemi? How will we punish him? Will he stand in the corner like Danil? Bill. Gravel, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Let's skip straight to the cane. <laughs> I wasn't asleep. Children, Artemi fell asleep. Thought he has, though he has disgraced this class, we must continue. Today I'll teach you the right way to eat a person. For a woman, start with the softest flesh. For a man, the internal organs. And please, stay away from anyone with red hair. Their flesh is venomous. Uh, Laura? Children, life's rules are simple. Everyone for themselves. Everyone's shirt is closer to their skin. It's neither your headache nor your piece of cake. Homo hominis lupus est. You have neither mothers nor fathers. Murder unseen. Repeat after me. Okay. I've got a question. Ask questions with your hand raised. If you have any hands left, I mean. Why is Danil being punished? Danil was punished for insolence. 
Children, which of you can tell us why Danil deserves punishment? Children, tell us what awaits him. <laughs> Glory, I guess. <laughs> Children, to survive, to remain resolute, you must heed this lesson. Remember, history is written by winners. There is no truth. The truth is whatever you think it is. Neil's mumbling from his corner. I think he just said those are Berkeley's ideas. History is written by the winners. There is no truth. The truth is whatever you think it is. True, but... No, there's a but. If you have a friend, learn to betray them. If you have a lover, disappoint them first, then betray them and leave them behind. Children, I'm teaching you how to survive. What was your homework? I'm going to give you all a sleeping pill. You need to sleep, Gravel. Divination. Lara, you are about to kill a person. You'll be executed for it. Did my homework, I swear. Oh. Talk to kids. They're all expecting a train carrying medicine and doctors. Fools. They honestly think a train can fix this. Like hell it'll come. Hey, can I copy your homework? What was the task? The rules of life, as always. Don't you know it all in advance? Want a gingerbread? Sure. Why are you so grown up anyway? How'd they let you into the school? Why was Danil punished? He told her she doesn't know how to play and only ruins it all. Well, it's true. My exhaustion's gone. I'm real hungry now. Friend of yours is being hunted. Come dawn, you won't be able to help him anymore. A new pantomime is being rehearsed at the theater. Infected over the past 24 hours, 3,209 people. Oh, bad grief got lucky. See you, Big Vlad. Oh, Big Vlad's lucky. That sucks. Not getting screwed. Oh! <gasps> Wow, I'm getting real lucky. Oh, I see. The orange is dead. Eh. I mean, for the most part, I'm, like, super lucky here. Not even in danger anymore, yeah, Jesus. One infected, not dead. One dead. That's it. That's not bad. We've only lost like three people on this list. And one of them is a mandatory, which is Isidore. So really Aspidy and Anna Angel are the only two we've lost. And we know what we need for Notkin to cure him. We need blood medicine. Time flies faster and faster with each passing day. A day is over and night falls. And in that brief night, something will be irretrievably lost. Fund has a reward for me. Okay, let's go get our fund first. No oh, and hunger. Uh, I may not complete... I'm not completely sure that Artemi actually talks to death. Whether real or an actor, we know he talks within his head. Say with his childhood toy. It could be that his conversations with death are his thought process. Seems like fighting an immaterial enemy is hard for such down-to-earth guy. So maybe Artemi needs to personalize it in his mind? It's an interesting pro uh, take. Uh, there's definitely precedent for it. There's no, definitely no hard and fast right answer for this one. Yeah. 
The game is very, very poetic. I think a large portion of it is actually left to your own interpretation, purposely. They, they don't answer those questions because it's more interesting to let your own mind answer those questions and make the game for yourself whatever you want. Like good poetry. Hey, tweezers! Yeah, it's not the greatest combat. It's interesting, though. Hey, where are you going? You must be on your last legs. We condemned now, pretty much. Actually, when I kill those guys, they like me more, so that makes my rep go up. Ooh, gloves are getting low, huh? You're respected here. We got a whole bunch of lockpicks. We'll have to go into the plague areas in the middle of the night and break into some houses, see if I can find some food. Definitely getting low on food. There we go. Oh, that sucks. Don't do that to me, Pathologic. If it crashes again, I'll have to reboot quickly. And that's unfortunate. And this is a... Uh, you lose everything since the last clock you talked to. You just realized what you should submit. What should you submit? Bloodborne BL4. Clemency is born not from virtue, but from fear. Are you implying there were unclean barrels too? Yes. Bringing one of those obviously would have been a disservice. This can't be true. Kowalski determined it was. Determined it was. Yes. We'll just sleep two hours. Food? Food? Expect to combat. I remember reading the devs saying that it was weird and wonky. Why do you expect a doctor to be good at night. fighting? That's fair. Who screams down your chimney? Though, at the same time, yeah, I, I realize they're going for realism as much as possible, but 
realism doesn't always make for the best game play either. Something to keep in mind. <laughs> the animations and audio are jank. It's a fair take. Combat definitely was not the focus of their budget. It's in the game, but it's far from a... Kind of a cop-out for that to be the reason. That's fair, too. It could have been much improved, but like I said, it's it's not the main focus of the game. Like I would never recommend somebody who's in a game just for a good combat experience to play this. It's, it's not what they're looking for. Reminds me of that interview with one of the RE devs who claimed the whole reason they made the controls clunky turret style was it added to the tension. Yeah. <laughs> sure, it does. But there's better ways to add tension than making your character controls look like ass. Yep. I'm with you. It's just like putting a timer into a game because you can't make it difficult enough. It's one of my big complaints about... Uh, Everybody loves the Ogre Battle series. I'm a... I just hate it. None of them have been done well. None of them have been done well. The problem, like... Like, if you play Ogre Battle and you don't know about the whole scoring system and you just, like play it as a strategy game, you'll just completely overpower everything and end up with a super, super, super easy or a super, super, super crappy uh, ending. But you'll completely overpower everything just by defending your, your areas and leveling up and taking over. I swear the only reason they put the points into Ogre Battle, or point system into Ogre Battle with different endings was because they were like, Oh god, our game's too easy, how do we make it harder? Oh, let's make them do it on a lower level. That's, that's where it went. Reminds me a bit of Call of Cthulhu, where you try to avoid combat at the start because the outcome is so uncertain and doesn't really pay off. Yeah, yeah, if you can effectively do that, like... Like Rage is saying, that's it's a great thing. Yeah, this combat is is clunky, and it's not hard. Like, I know the outcome most of the time. I'm gonna just block their punches and knock them out, or they're gonna run away. I haven't lost a fight yet. It's just not the most riveting and interesting combat. Did you play either of the Condemned games? I did not. I did not. It is this house, right? Yes. Excuse me. Mmm, minty. I had a chocolate chip mint ice cream right before stream, and it was amazing. Perfect capper to an amazing day. Got an announcement for Demon Souls remake. Roots and blood. Got a awesome, awesome draft of my new emotes. You played and enjoyed them, huh?
Though in defense of this game, I will say they nailed the eerie, unsettling atmosphere. They did. They also really, really nailed the fine-tuning and dispersal of, um, like, stuff. Like, there's never been a moment in the game where I'm like, I have what I need! It's always, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this, and I've got a few scraps to trade for it. What the fuck am I gonna do? <sighs> I'm always, always on the hunt and the lookout for anything. And most games, I'm, I'm a hoarder and I'm a stasher and I end up with just a loot of things, usually. This one's good. You mentioned that you study step rights. Does the word Udurg mean anything to you? First person melee combat just feels like it's always going to be a little clunky. But I think it's mostly because nobody's really come up with an optimal control scheme for them yet. Yeah, I'm with you. It, I think too many of the first person melee games model themselves after the Elder Scrolls games, and the Elder Scrolls is kind of terrible melee combat, so... That's what they call a bull marked for slaughter. Butchering a body imitates an act of creation. I think it's really hard to do first person. Yeah. Actually, I've heard that such a ritual will take place tomorrow. They'll bring in a bull from the steppe and parade it on the streets. It's the principle of correspondence in action. Hmm, interesting. They believe a bull's body mirrors the structure of the universe. Your Udurg is this sacrificial bull. Can a person be called that? Well, it's complicated. I can't help with the finer points. I know a man well versed in such things. Foreman Oyen, but there's a predicament. Oyen, I know that name. I know the name. He was father's friend, so he could help me? The foreman of the abattoir, a resourceful and reliable man. Irreplaceable, even. He's a link. He helps us keep the kin under control. I know all that. So where is he? I assume he's locked in the termitary with the rest of the kin. Which means he is well out of your reach. You'll have to wait until this blasted epidemic is over. I hope you're doing everything you can to end it. Father told me that the termitary was closed on his orders, but he refused to explain his reasons. Yes, Gorn. I look forward to having space for my VR, and I will absolutely do some Gorn streams. Oh, I love that game. Smash some things. Completely opposite game of this. <laughs> it is as different from this game as can be. <laughs> Fine, Burak. Since it's you who are asking. The termitary was closed because of a massive upcoming strike, and since our workforce is rather special, it would have inevitably become a bloody bestial riot. Do you follow me? Go on. It was a stroke of luck that it happened right before the epidemic. The strict blockade of the termitary became a quarantine. Now we can be sure that 30% of the whole town is quite safe. 30%? Did I hear you right? A fresh census is long overdue, but as far as I know, the termitary shelters about 5,000 people. Yes, the conditions are hard to bear. Crowding, poverty, but don't blame our family for that. There's also a girl, Taya. Tai Cheek's daughter. I need to make sure she's alright. Dying Light did a pretty decent job of it. Uh, mirror's Edge passable first person combat, though you got animation locked a lot, which annoyed you. Yep. <laughs> You're biased and love the yeet feet mechanic, huh? <laughs> Combination of melee weapons and parkour moves in Dying Light has pretty nice synergy. Yeah, they just need to make it smooth. Once they get it smooth and responsive, first-person melee will be acceptable. But I don't think first-person melee will ever really be better than third-person melee. I don't see why it could be better. I don't see what the appeal would be over it. So why try so hard to make first-person melee work when third-person melee is just better? Why not just keep making third-person melee better? Doesn't that make sense? You bewildered me, Burak. You're a doctor, aren't you? You of all people should understand such things. Right now, the Termitary is an ark, a bastion of safety. Despite the riots, despite the crowds and the possible hunger, there's water at least. Can you quarantine? Can you guarantee you won't carry the plague in on your boots? We have to think of something. 
Uterig is elusive. Many know the word, but few grasp the full meaning. Foreman Oyoung could explain it to me, but he's locked up with the rest of the termitary. Need infected organs. Soon a bull will take walk the town's streets to touch it for the last time. Then it will be slaughtered. I am owed the only reason to make first person melee is when you have fine control over the mechanics and both arms individually. I could kind of see it, but I think you could still do that third person well and be able to see the whole body. Yeah, I'm stoked for HZD2. I'll, I'll play that on, on release. One of the big obstacles to overcome with first-person melee combat is the perspective often makes engaging distance and depth perception a chore. Even when it works, there's times when it whiffs and you think it should have hit. 100%. 100%. It's hard enough in third person to judge distance. It's much harder. That was my big problem with trying to get into Oblivion when everyone was all in love with it. I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Okay, let's try to get to my father's house, I guess. Down, left, right. Which is why I think VR is the medium for it. You have the stereoscopic 3D to help the distance. Yeah, I think VR is a good place for that to happen. Oh, that means I have to go through the RNG again because of the crash. That means everyone's going to die this time. That's how it's going to work. Your inaction protected the flank from infection. Yay! Later, Vlad. No, no. Survived, but he has less chance next time. He has not done the DLC yet. It looks like the RNG I had last time is the same rolls. has a reward for One me. One more day has passed. No, oh, better drink one of my milks. The town shifts. Something... Okay, so now... Oh, this is the black now, huh? Something stirs in the theater. Something stirs within you. Tange. That stock Reuben Acker, your father's false student. You know him. Tell me what he does at night. I can tell you what he doesn't do. Sleep, as far as I can tell. <laughs> the narrator guy sounds like the principal from American Dad. I like that show. I barely know him. False. He was a very loyal student. Went overboard, even. He has no respect for the dead. No respect for the body. He cuts bodies open without grace. He knows not the lines. He's an outsider. Precisely. Outsiders have no obligation to honor our traditions. Precisely. Outsiders have no obligation. Tell me, what does he do during the night? Where does he hide? Ask him yourself. During the day, he's in the hospital, working. Good question. Katunga are worried. Your friend is doing evil. The blame, as always, will be pinned to us. And we are dwindling by the hour as it is. Mere hundreds left now. And to tell me I know. I think, actually, disregard that. I don't think anything. I'll take care of him. He's my friend, not yours, after all. 
what did that give me? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, oh. Sometimes after dark step people meet at Saba's place. Yeah, I knew that. Stock Ruben is doing something shady at night. Where could he be? Oh, Stock. Still, he's a friend. I have a bad feeling. Better hurry. Fund. I can get that tomorrow. Oh, <gasps> wow. Take that. Nice. With respect of judging distance and being unsure of my weapon's reach in first person, what made me accept it wholeheartedly was starting doing fencing IRL. You realize how often you think you got it and you're quarter inch short. Yeah. I could see that. And again, it would work better in VR where you can actually have depth perception and still miss. But when you're trying to recreate the depth perception, it's, it's shady. I do like it in VR, though. Take that, Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> yeah, I love beating up pale face guys. You did a bit of kendo. Awesome. I trained under a kendo grandmaster. I didn't get to take his kendo class. It was invitation only. I took Sun Hang Do under him, but I did watch his kendo classes. And they were something to behold. That guy was insane. Okay, I'm starting to get to the point of needing... Indeed in the membrane. How's it going, Needlack? How's it going? Where's my... Kendo is intense. That guy was intense. I showed you videos of him. You remember Grandmaster King? When he cut a watermelon in half on a guy's stomach while blindfolded and you were like, gotta trust a guy to let him do that. Honestly, a pretty good day. How could it not be a good day? Did you see the PS5 reveal? Are you as excited as we are? I did not. I am such a PC master race. They are doing a Demon Souls remake. Not a remaster, a remake. still a really stupid name, but the game has a cool concept. I hate TV episodes where it's like the same day over and over and over again. The only time that was done well was Groundhog Day. 
Stop doing it. Bill Murray did it. You can't beat him. Stop trying. Move on to a new idea. Do we get to wait an extra year to play it on PC? You might never get to play it on PC. I think it's a PS5 exclusive. I don't know, though. The New Horizon Zero Dawn is a PS5 exclusive. Sure ain't paying for a PS5. I absolutely am. I absolutely loved it when my instructor changed from sword to polearm and everything I failed to do anything and died 70 plus times during a one hour class. Yep. Yep. The other person, your opponent changing the weapon changes the entire fight. Dark Souls does that well. Same enemy, different weapon, different timings, different death. My respect to you, Sega. You look for him too. He has not come yet. Sly. Uh, what's he so afraid of? So he hasn't been home for a while. This is our third night of waiting. Why are you so persistent? Elders say he's wronged us grievous grievously. Elders say many Katange will die for his misdeeds. I get a PS5 when there's a better version of it because I know it will... Uh, from what I read in initial releases, the PS5 is going to be upgradable, so it won't necessarily be a new PS5 that comes out, but like a new video card you can slot into it or a faster hard drive you can slot into it and stuff like that. Basically, yeah, they're going to more of a PC platform idea with platform games. It's the much better way to do it. It's basically a cheap gaming PC that way. Cheap. Because you can build a gaming PC for relatively the same price now. Elders say he's wronged us grievously. Elders may say Katange will die for his misdeeds. What has he done? Who knows? Who cares? Elders say, and we obey. What is there to think about? Why think without reason? Too soon to think. Father was so right to send me away from here. Indeed, thinking is hard. Go away. Clearly he knows you've laid your ambush here. I remember reading how nobility wanted to ban pole arms and crossbows because they were so unfair. I felt their pain that day. Rip. <sighs> yeah. I understand, though. I was once grabbed and thrown by Grandmaster Kang while he had a shuriken in his hand. And he's as after he did, he goes, oh, by the way, I dragged it across you here and here and here and here, and you're dead like five times before you hit the ground. Oh, thank you, Master. Doc has a skull for a pet. No, he is a doctor. The Reuben's not home either. Not unexpected. Guess I'll have to ask the sly one. Sure. Go see what uh, what he has to say. You need to go to the dispo to sign for a load and pick up your victory dabs. Sounds like a good time. I'm always all for victory dabs. Your heart's gonna be fucky after you beat this, huh? You should definitely do the DLC. Don't make the mistake I did, and not do it. The only reason I didn't do it is because I missed it. It had nothing to do with not wanting to do it. I just thought I'd still be able to do it, and then the game ended.
However, I have a save completely ready for DLC right now. I just finished it today. That's more good news. You're gonna see Dark Souls DLC blind first time soon. What's well, money for it, huh? Ooh. Yeah, I like that. Six chamber military grade revolver. Imprecise limited range. No. We'll just take the money. That's, that's nice. I like money. That's huge, actually. Many who sleep well speak ill. What do you want, man? You know what Stock Ruben's been up to? He's kept me in the dark. And that's the way he wants it, isn't it? Why would I give you a lantern? Run into trouble? I'd like to know that, too. But he's a man with a code, you know. Doesn't trust me. Probably pains him to stoop to my level. Doesn't bother me, I'm not proud. You mentioned you weren't seeing each other often, right? Ah, uh, I'd pay good coin to never see him. But I can't help but bump into the man. Neighbors share labors, as the saying goes. You joined the gang, that's unexpected. Screw your head back on, will you? We're shorting out. We'd recruit a pig in all our piglets before we ever considered Reuben. He just needed a hideout. And who'd help the poor sod but me? We're friends, after all. And where would that hideout be? I won't tell you. I promised to not sell him out, so I won't. Go look for it yourself. I've said enough. You're bumping into each other. He must be close. Reuben operates in the warehouses. That's all I know. Needle in a haystack. Perhaps there's some sort of trace. Well, gives me a trace on the map. Let's go talk to that. Hope you guys can see more than me. I've got a bright sun going down behind me, and I can see nothing on this screen. Here I am refusing to use a match. I should probably use one here, though. back in the day. What else was there? Kids are doing something. Oh right, the odd performance. Let's go check the odd performance out. Come back here in the day when we can see. Maybe we'll get to beat someone up on the way there. Oh shit, there's two of them there. Closer than I expected to me. Where'd he go? Oh, damn it, he was right there. Now he's gonna go way too far. Okay, fine, whatever. Whatever's. I'll have a sip of water. I need enough to do two.
Damn it! I take too many punches. Oh, shit, I need to go back that way. Nice! Oh no, I need that pocket watch. Where'd it go? No. Ah! Give it to me! Yeah, I know it'll stay there. Yeah. I just wanted it now. It's so much money! Where am I going? I'm going for the tr There we go. Yeah, I'm going this way. Yeah. I'll remember it's there. I mean, that's a lie. I'm totally gonna forget about it, but... I'll try. Oh, that was terrible. Okay, so this whole area sucks. Gotcha. That's- that's great. Oh, I can put a mark? I guess I can, can't I? Where is it? Like right here? Something like that? Did I just die? Is that what just happened? Pretty much. Oh, that's not the door. Okay. Fine, fine, I'll use one of my immunity boosters, jerks. No, I won't. Alright. 